What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Again, we are joined by our very special guest, my wife, Andriana. And today we are going to be going over all of those assumptions that you guys have made of me. Ooh. I, <laughs> I recently posted something on my Instagram and YouTube asking you all for your assumptions about me. And today we are going to go over those and we have someone to read them off to me. So let's go ahead, get into it. So Andreana is getting full access to my phone right now. She's going to be going through all these assumptions because I haven't seen any of them. So she's going to read them off and I'll respond to them live. Not so nice impression. You're a snob dressing so well all the time. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess if you dress well, that makes you a snob. Yeah, I don't know why dressing well makes you a snob. I guess I should dress worse and that'll make me not a snob oh it's the same comment there's more oh, to it. it oh there's more to it yeah. okay the not the nice impression is hard worker smart dedicated radiology isn't an easy residency to get into what do you think what do you think about me i do you agree think with yes i agree with the nice impression. <laughs> it really took you a while to, to agree to that no i agree to the nice impression okay the not so nice impression i don't agree just because you dress well that's like judging a book by its cover well yeah. i guess that's the whole point don't judge a book by its cover if you dress well that's good that's a good thing that's not bad whatsoever dressing well I feel like that's part of your someone's personality if you dress well that's how they portray yeah. like that's part of their dress for success are you enjoying this yet yeah <laughs> You're the kind of person who deliberately ignores texts and responds four hours later. No, not true. Not even remotely true. I'm pretty quick on the response. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave you on red. Someone who passed through very rough times and managed to dig out of a hole, now a happier person than ever before. Yeah, been through I mean, rough I don't time. think you've been to, through rough times. Um, I don't think I've been through rough times. I think I've been pretty fortunate in my life to not go through rough times. Yes, I agree. So I don't think I've... Definitely been... didn't have anything handed down to you. No, nothing was handed to me. I worked, I'm 100% self-made, did everything on my own. But yep. never came out of like a bad spot. You were the typical cool guy jock in high school and your girlfriend tutored you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Love your content. Uh... I don't know, I wouldn't know. No, I don't think that's the case at all. I was an what? athlete in high school, but I wasn't like a, the jock. When I think of jock, I think of like the quarterback of the team who like had like ladies on his side and everything. That wasn't me at all. But nobody tutored me either. And my girlfriend in high school didn't tutor me. I don't think so. This is a good one. You're not an outdoors person like for hiking or camping. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Pretty dead on. Yeah. I must say. I can't imagine Michael camping. Hiking, yes. Camping, no. I mean, I've been camping before, but I prefer to stay in a hotel <laughs> over the hard gravel campsite or whatever. Michael prefers glamping. Yeah. You're chill. Like, seriously chill. Stay chill, Doc. So true. I'm always at 100. Michael always brings me down because I'm so anxious no, yeah I'm, I'm i'm always very even keel i don't get too worked up about much yes sometimes i get worked up but it's very rarely i never get to that breaking point yeah never he is she's like a chicken without a head at baseline yes and we kind of we balance <laughs> he each really other. balances me out i'm 100%. really high strung michael is very chill yeah you come from a wealthy family no not even remotely wealthy i came from very humble beginnings let's just say that so i didn't come from any money whatsoever but i knew when i was in high school and college i never wanted to live that way again which is why i worked my butt off to kind of get to where i could be comfortable the rest of my life and it's not easy i just thought that always motivated me in the back of my mind i didn't want to be how it was when i grew up i wanted to not be not have to worry about money essentially 
I think that's with every generation. You always want better for the next generation. Yeah, for sure. It seemed like yeah. we want better for our children. Yeah, it, like, it motivated me. It still motivates me to this day, honestly. You actually love the seven consecutive night shifts, but pretend night not to. I definitely don't enjoy those night shifts whatsoever. I think Did, it. I what? think he doesn't like the night shifts, but he loves the adrenaline of just being on all the time. Yeah, I do like that. I like. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I feel like that's what you. What, I like everything that comes with the night shift, minus the lack of sleep and being on the night shift. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't make any sense but okay that deep down you actually like wearing matching clothes with andriana but you don't want people to know so you say you dislike it oh because we wore matching sweatshirts that oh that's right that's right yeah he does i mean no he does if you had kids you'd be the hands-off chill dad also nothing seems to really bother you love your content i feel like you'd be reasonable you're like the reasonable dad yeah. Was, you would be hands-on with, like... I would be hands-on. I wouldn't be, like, an absentee father. father yeah. <laughs> but, like, I think they meant, like, a chill person. Oh, yeah. So, I'd yeah, be super I chill. Uh, yeah. Whatever. If I, I always worry about that. If, like, my kid has a fever or, like, sick or something, they have to be super sick before I would take them to the physician or... Peds. Peds. Yeah. Next. Um, You're laid back and like to have fun. Also super passionate about mes- about medicine. Yeah, I mean, people have really hit the nail on the head with the chill, laid-back vibe. Yes, I think that's... And I do like that. Yes. Obviously. Michael, he I mean, loves, I, li- I literally yeah. do it for a living and then also talk about it on my YouTube channel, so... Yeah. You look like your girlfriend dumped you and became an alcoholic. Yep, that is exactly who you are. What kind of assumption is that? Are you trying to say I look terrible? I mean, what you else? dream of owning a large, extravagant home with Adriana and having one or two kids who will also be into medicine. Not a large home. I don't want like a huge mansion. I hate. I. I, yeah, I never always, wanted that. Yeah. Yeah. I want just like a, like a, a nice house, but a, just a decent size house. But I don't want something over the top. I'd rather have like multiple small houses. I mean, this is like a dream. Not reality, but I'd rather have multiple small houses than a giant mansion, like, compound. Dedicated husband, very dedicated, dependable doctor, handsome husband, happy people person, will be a good father to your child or kids. Oh, that's very sweet. I that was very so. nice. Whoever wrote that, who wrote that? Cornetta Jones. Cornetta Jones, thank you. Hard worker, passionate all you do, likes to plan ahead, fun guy all around. I just get that feel from you. I think that's very true, actually. You do like to plan ahead. I'm a little bit more of a planner, but you definitely... Oh, I still plan ahead, ahead for yeah. sure. You're tall. My guess is 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, you are correct. Ding, ding, 6'4". You're a quiet person in real life. Hmm. I mean... Not, not really. really. No. I'm pretty outgoing. Pretty... Not as loud as she is, but I'm pretty vocal. Yes. <laughs> you destroyed the MCAT for sure. Uh, I, I can't remember the MCAT so long ago. I didn't do that well on it. I think I did decent, but I definitely didn't knock it out of the park like a lot of people do. Um, I think it was very average. You're not egotistical. You just have high standards for yourself, which would be understandable after going through at least eight years of college, then at least five years of residency. I do. I have very high standards. Yes. Very high standards. I, w- I won't accept average. For myself. You're smart and spend your free time reading journal articles and prep studying for your fellowship. I wish I did that more, but I usually spend most of my free time either going to the gym, going out when I can, when it's not in pandemic time, or going out on dates, or traveling, or filming YouTube videos. I mean, you do a little bit of everything, let's put it like yeah, that. Yeah, I do everything. I don't, yeah, I don't just sit at home and read journal articles. But you do a little, you have, you make time for everything. You do yeah. that, you do. I will, if I'm on a plane, I'll read journal articles for sure. My mom says you are a smart, handsome, good dresser. I say you're dedicated and confident. <laughs> Thank you. Who was that? You, um, Selena Lee Wright. Selena Lee Wright. Thank you to you and your mother. You pull double shifts playing Call of Duty back in the day. Fellow gamer, pre-med, or PA here. <laughs> Let's go. I used to crush Call of Duty back in the day. Modern Warfare 2, I would play that for like 18 hours a day. 
I mean, literally nonstop. That game was the heat. You're filthy rich and have a thousand dollar suit somewhere in your wardrobe. However, you deserve to have those things. Love your videos. No. Not, not super rich. Don't have a thousand dollar suit. Uh, I don't think I do. No, I don't. But I, I don't think thousand dollar suits are necessary either because you can get such good suits for half that nowadays. Um, so yeah. That you scored a 260 on step one. No, I didn't score 260. I did score, God, someone asked me this the other day. It was in the 240s, I think, or something like that. It was pretty good. It wasn't crazy like the kids are getting nowadays. I, I interview med students now for a radiology residency. And I feel like everybody has like a 270 these days, or maybe we're just getting like the higher applicants or something, but I swear every every kid is like a genius these days. This is often the same person. That you order a hamburger, turkey, chicken burger without fries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you have dark colored plates. No. no white. That you have many colognes. No. No, I only wear one. Two. I have two favorite. I wear only two colognes. Well, Three. No, I've had those forever. I don't really wear that much cologne, but when I do Lalabo, that were two different Lalabo colognes and a Chanel blue. You wouldn't marry slash date another doctor because you want to be in a higher status position than your partner. That is not even remotely true because I would always want my wife to be as successful as humanly possible. If she was making like $10 million a year, I'd be the happiest you would ever see me. I have- I'd be very happy too. Literally would care zero. If I made $10 a year and she made 10 million, wouldn't matter to me whatsoever. In fact, I prefer. You're one of those people who didn't have to study four hours and ace the test with flying colors. You prefer brunettes over blondes and your drink of choice is a Moscow mule. That's pretty dead on. Except for the, I, I do love a good Moscow mule, but I'm more of like a, Bourbon. Yeah, old fashioned kind of guy. And I was the first brunette that Michael ever dated. Yeah, I only dated blondes until her. So, partially true. So I'll never go back. Um, okay, well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. House Wannabe. Dr. House Wannabe? Yeah. What does he say? Or That's she? what it is. Dr. House Wannabe. Oh, oh, I'm a Dr. Dr. House, House wannabe. wannabe? Yeah. No, because Dr. House was an internal medicine doctor and... I hate rounding for hours and hours and hours, so that is the exact opposite of who I want to be. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed this video of Michael's assumptions. Yeah, some of them were right, some of them were wildly incorrect, but what can you do? That's what the assumptions are. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other assumptions or if you were dead on with your assumption. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on those post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice every week. Otherwise, we'll see you on our next video.